guys, I'm Aaron, and welcome to Aaron Plays Fun Facts. In each episode, we invite our friends to ask Aaron some fun facts they really want to know. Let's take a look at today's Ask Aaron video. Hello, Aaron. I'm Julie from Beijing. Last the time your mom came back from Canada, I got a bag of maple candy as a gift. Its good taste really impressed me. I know Canada is famous for its maple syrup. So, could you tell me some more interesting things about maple? Thanks. Thanks, Julie. 80% of the world's maple syrup comes from Canada. Still think maple syrup is still a sweetness in a bottle? Brush up on the history, versatility, and yes, nutritional value of this liquor gold. So here are 10 sticky maple syrup facts every proud Canadian should know. Fact number one. Tapping into our history. Long before European settlers came along, maple syrup was harvested and enjoyed by indigenous Canadian populations who tapped trees by cutting V-shaped patterns for inserting thin wooden tubes into the bark. They created syrup in a variety of ways using freezing temperatures to separate the water from the sap or boiling the sap down in clay kettles over the fire. Eventually, European settlers learned these techniques from the indigenous people and maple syrup production began in their communities between 17th century and 18th century in Canada. Over time, syrup producers improved upon the initial harvesting and boiling method for larger scale efficiency. These days, big syrup producers often use vacuum-powered plastic lines, stainless steel holding tanks, and reverse oxygen filtration in the syrup making process. Fact number two, from sap to syrup, maple harvesting. The maple industry thrives in Canada primarily because our climate in early spring is perfect for tree tapping. Harvesting usually takes place when the temperatures at night dip below freezing and rise to a few degrees above zero several days in a row. These fluctuating temperatures creating pressure within the maple trees causing the sap to flow downwards during the day so that a tree tap near its base will release its sap. Much of the maple sap that gets harvested is just water. Its sugar content is only about 2%. That harvested sap gets collected and brought to a processing area where it's boiled down until it reaches about 66% sugar content, resulting in the maple syrup we all know and love. Fact number three, there are three federal categories of maple syrup. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency and the provincial governments have slightly different classification systems, both based on color and taste. Category one, extra light, light and medium grades. Category 2, an amber grape, and maple flavors that are typical for their color grades. Category 3, which includes the dark gray and any other ungraded colors, and also contain traces of caramel, plant bud, or salt flavors. In Quebec, dark maple syrup can only be used for industrial purposes. Fact number 4, maple syrup is a long-term investment. A tree takes about 40 years until it's big enough to tap. It takes about 40 liters of sap to make one liter of maple syrup. Most trees only yield between 35 and 55 liters of sap in a season, so producing syrup is definitely a label-intensive process, but it's totally worth it. Fact number five, Quebec is king when it comes to production. North America's top maple syrup producing region is Quebec. Quebec produces two-thirds of the world's syrup, an amazing amount of syrup each year. 7,989,000 gallons. La Belle Province, indeed. Fact number six. A sugar shack in French, cabane à sucre, is a tradition firmly rooted in Quebec culture. There are approximately 430 sugar shacks in the province. Many of them are open all year round. The sugar shack is where the sap of the maple tree is boiled and made into maple syrup. Many families traditionally spend their Easter dinner together at a sugar shack, eating traditional Quebec food and lots of maple sugar. The food. Oh, the food. The 
quantity was amazing. And don't forget my favorite, tir d'érable sur la neige, the maple taffy on snow. Fact number seven, a quarter cup of maple syrup is high in minerals. A 60 milliliter portion of maple syrup contains 100% of your recommended daily allowance of manganese, as well as 37% of riboflavin, 18% of zinc, 7% of magnesium, and 5% of calcium and potassium. Plus, the antioxidant levels are comparable to a banana or a serving of broccoli. Fact number eight, stored properly, a sealed container of maple syrup can keep for several years. An unopened container of maple syrup can be kept at room temperature. It's recommended that once a container is opened, it be refrigerated in glass or plastic bottle and will last between three to six months before running the risk of crystallization. Fact number nine, table syrup, sometimes called pancake syrup or breakfast syrup is easily confused with maple syrup at the grocery store and has a much cheaper price tag. But don't be fooled. This product is made from flavored high fructose corn syrup and is dramatically milder in flavor. <coughs> Fact number 10, cooking with maple syrup. There's no doubt that maple syrup poured over waffles or pancakes is one of the weekend's great pleasures. However, maple is also terrific as an ingredient and can be used in sweet or savory dishes. It's the signature ingredient in butter tarts, but also works well as a marinade for buttermilk grilled chicken. My mom uses maple syrup to make Chinese mooncakes and Thanksgiving turkey. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. Leave a comment down below of what's your favorite food with maple syrup. Please share this video with friends and family. All right, that's it for today. See you guys in the next video. Peace. 60 milliliter, mi milliliter, mi milliliter. The milliliter a six a sixty milliliter a sixty milliliter a sixty milliliter a lip it's like a tongue twister milliliter